It's my day off and I've been working on a few little things that I love to do. Um, of course, I paint and I'm working on this gigantic Frida Kahlo. She's the size of that um, Freddie Mercury behind and I should be finishing it pretty soon. All right guys, so I finished the painting. It's right behind me. It took me two and a half days. Um, so now I'm going to varnish it and done then I'll just wait for Denise to come and pick it up and we'll be set it's also the same size as that Selena back there the dragon behind her and uh, as you can see it's pretty big Edition and my Trakel varnish brush. That's it. Normally I do it um, with this facing down, but just to show you how easy it is and how simple it is, I'm just gonna do like this on the easel. So just pour some on top. Just don't like drop it all at once. Kind of controlled. And there it is, it's varnished. Um, I'm also gonna make this a sticker, I'm so proud of this painting. It's beautiful. I'm gonna add it to my collection of stickers of my paintings. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you want a sticker, message me um, at the XTN files on Instagram or drop a comment here below and I'll send you one. Hi guys, so today was a successful week. I'm so happy I finished three paintings and this is one of them right here. I have this large Frida Kahlo that measures um, 26 by 30, as much as this Freddie Mercury and this dragon painting right below it that you can't really see. Um, this one was a commission and it was for one of my best friends from work. I love her. Thank you so much, Denise. Um, this was a little tough because it was a black and white picture and I had to imagine the colors myself. So which proved to be a little tough, especially with the shadows, but I took a lot of liberty with this picture and I added one of my shirts to her. I gave her, her the iconic earrings with the hands because she wasn't wearing those in that painting. And I added some butterflies which was um, what Denise wanted in the painting was Frida and some butterflies. So that's what I came up with and I'm really happy. Uh, I also finished this painting. Um, this was a painting that I planned out a while back and I just wrote it on my notebook. Um, I keep a list of paintings in my notebook that I want to do in the future, and this was one of them. Um, it comes from a skull that I have in my house, and uh, I just kind of wanted to give it like a heavy metal look to it. It's pretty cool. So it looks like it's black, but it's I made up my own black. I didn't use black paint. I used purple and blue and brown and then that gold halo right there that was kind of like a oh like a little da vinci twist to it and also a um like tattoo style which i love clearly 
Uh, another one that I finished was a painting that has also been in my notebook for longer than that one was actually, and that's Beavis and Butthead Do Yoga. Check it out. I love this painting. Uh, this one's actually kind of funny because I had a dream about it and I remember waking up and saying to myself, oh, Beavis and Butthead Do Yoga. And I went going back to sleep. And I wrote that down. Um, and I told myself that when I get the chance, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna do the painting. And I originally thought about making a series out of it, making a painting per pose, but I realized that I had this canvas laying around for a while. So I decided, why don't I add a few different poses to it and this be the painting itself. So this is what I came up with. I, it was so funny, I was giggling the whole time and especially when I was drawing the guys and towards the end when I saw the, the finished product. So anyway, uh, these two paintings are for sale and if you want a commission painting, um, let me know. If you want to see the paintings that I just do throughout the week, um, at me on Instagram at the Xtina Files. And I post paintings every week, if I can. I try to paint every day, and if not, at least I try to complete one a week. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you later.